Hi everybody, quick introduction because Kobach didn't give us one. This is the second part of the in-office interview between Kobach and Nicole Kessinger. It took place on the 23rd of August 2018 in the Lakewood, Colorado Bureau of Investigation offices. What other new information? He was talking for a few weeks, like he, he you, mentioned... Give okay. me a time frame. Okay. So he went to North Carolina. When he came back from North Carolina, I was informed sometime either when he was on the trip or when he was like getting back, but in that area that they filed for divorce and that um, they were gonna put the house up and he for sale. And he was like, she is the one that called the realtor. Because he told me that he had spoke to her when he was in North Carolina about it. And then the next day, she was the one who called the realtor. When you say she, Shanann? Yes. And when you say, the time frame they came back from North Carolina, you don't remember the specific dates, but was I, like the first or second week of August? Uh, yeah, I, I think I told you guys when they left. I think he left on Tuesday the 31st of July. I do remember you saying that. And I don't remember when he came home. I really don't. I don't remember if it was like... So is this a phone conversation or is this a text conversation? No, um, this happened over the phone. And he told me that, um, that was when I had said, hey, when you go to North Carolina, I really think you should try to fix things with your wife. And he kept asking, well, what about us? And I was try and kind of take a step back and see if he would fix things before attempting to pursue things with me because I wanted to know that if all of these things he's saying like yes we're getting separated and yes you know all of these things that he's saying are happening are happening I wanted to know that it was like you were doing this like you said you were prior to me coming in your life and it had nothing to do with me, you know? And so for me, it was like, I just, I really wanted them to fix it. I would have just like left the situation. So tell me why him, Shanann calling a realtor and him mentioning that they were gonna be divorced. Why, why do you think it's important? Um, because, so after that he was like, She's the one who called the realtor, and I remember I was like, "Damn, that was fast!" Because I knew he told me like we were gonna put the house up, but they said he was like, "We didn't know how much to offer for it," and we were kind of trying to find somebody. And it like so for the first few weeks that I hung out with him, he kind of like dragged his feet on, "Hey, this is happening." And then after North Carolina, he's like, "Yeah, she wants to put the house up. She's the one that called the realtor." And I was like, kind of taken back, not necessarily at the speed of it, given how long he said that they'd been separating, but the fact that it, she did it like the day after he supposedly sat down and had a conversation with her about, hey, do we fix this or do we not fix this relationship? So um, do you remember how many days she was back in Colorado be before leaving? Mm -hmm. Do you know that? Because mm -hmm. I don't remember when they got home. Right. I don't. I'm just trying to get your memory jogged there on that. But so this was they get home, he had told you in North Carolina that they agreed to mm -hmm. and they're mm -hmm. finalized their relationship. Yeah. It's they get home and she immediately wants to sell the house. Yes. And then, um, so, I, I mean, I started thinking, okay, well, I know in Colorado, houses sell very fast here. So I was like, what's your plan? You know, and I was like, because you might want to be prepared. And I remember that's when the whole concept came up of you probably need to start looking for a new place pretty quick. And that was when he was kind of overwhelmed with it. And I told him, I was like, look, like I just moved a few months ago. Um, and uh, I was like, to find a place that was comfortable for me, it was like, it took like a lot of research. And, I told, and that's when I offered to help. I was like, I'll help you. And he seemed pretty gung-ho about it for like the first week and he seemed very grateful, and I was putting in work on it, and I was like calling him and kind of letting him know about places, and there really wasn't that many options in Brighton. Um, I found one, I actually texted it to myself before I texted it to him, because I was going, I still have that in my phone too. Um, 
because I found it and it was great, but it was like right at the beginning of my search, and I was like, I don't want to inundate him. So you said a week. You think you worked on that for a week? No, it, I honestly only probably spent like a few hours over a few days and just trying to like line it up. Just trying me. to think about how many days she had been back while you were working on that. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh. So you said, did you actually work on it for a week straight? No, 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 no. Okay. It was just like a couple days after work, I would just like spend a couple hours if I had time, like at the end of my day, or if I didn't go to the gym and just sit down and, I mean, I can give you a date on one that I worked on because I texted that one to myself. This one, I love this one. Um, when is this? Saturday, August 11th. That's the night you guys went out? Uh, yeah. To uh, the lazy dog. Yes. Or the two, the two lazy dogs. Yes. Two lazy dogs. <laughs> All right. What else? Um. Yeah. So the reason that this is important is because he, like, up to that point, seemed like. He was all about it, you know, and I was respecting him. I wasn't like, oh, you need to get this, you need to get that. I was like, what city do you want to live in? What side of town is she staying in? You know, how close do you want to be to work? How close do you want to be to your kids? I mean, I asked him everything. I just wanted him to have something that was accommodating for his whole family. And he told me that she was probably going to stay in the Frederick area, but he never said for sure. The first time I asked him, he's like, I don't know where she's going to go, but she'll probably stay in this area. And I was like... Chris, if you're gonna get an apartment, like, you need to figure that out because the last thing you want is to be like an hour drive from your kids. It's like, you know, you, you gotta be close. And so, um, I ended up asking him again, like a couple days later, and that was when um, he was like, I think she's staying in the Frederick area. And I was like, okay. And that's when I was like, starting to get details. like. Where, and if you guys find my text, you'll see it where I'm asking, like, where do you want to live? Like, how close do you want to be to work? Those things, like, you know, um, do, do you care what gym you go to? Like, what are you right. looking for? You we know, talked and, about this previously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the thing was that he was, like, super gung-ho about it. And then on Saturday, that day, um, I remember being outside with him when this conversation happened but I don't know where I don't know if we were like walking into the restaurant or walking to the car but I like vaguely remember being outside with him and I was like he had told me that he wanted to go look at some places the upcoming week mm -hmm. and we were supposed to go do that on Wednesday and I was like um, I asked him I was like um, what places do you want to go see and I was like, did you really like that place that I showed you? Because it was just like super convenient for everything. And I had a little playground and I had a pool. Like it would have been awesome for his kids. And it was cheap. And um, and so and it was like close to Frederick. It was like, it was, it was close to the gym. It was close to work. It was close to me. It was close to everything. And it was in Brighton, which is what he wanted. And so um, I was like, did you want to go check that place out? And he's like, yeah, I guess. And he like didn't seem sure anymore. And that was the part that I wanted to tell you. I just figured I'd give you all the backstory. Sure. Um, so, so he's so not he, sure about the particular apartment or about even leaving. So he told me that he like he looked at it and he told me that he thought it was nice, but he didn't really seem like his interest was that peaked. And I was like, well, did you find anything that you really wanted to look at? And he told me, yeah, that he found a few, but nothing that really, really piqued his interest. And I was like, well, you might want to get started. And he's like, well, I, I found one. And I asked him, I said, which one is it? Because I think I've looked at like every apartment in Brighton and maybe I'll remember it. And he's like, I don't know, I don't remember the name of it. And he kind of just like disregarded it. And it was kind of strange to me because, like, the whole week prior, he was, like, so excited that I was trying to help him because like, he's busy. I'm busy. So I was like, you look, I'll look. Let's see if we can try to narrow it down to, like, four or five spots. And then we'll find something that's good for you and your girls. You know? And, and he seemed, like, very enthusiastic about it, like, during the week when the conversations first really started ramping up about, like, you probably got to figure something out because that house is going to sell really fast. 
you know, or mm -hmm. at least be prepared. And so, so why do you think he was removed or not interested on on your Saturday night, wherever you guys were? I don't know. I mean, sometimes, like, I think about these things and I feel like they're all assumptions, but at that point, like, maybe he already knew something that I didn't. I don't know. So but it was just a complete mood change where he just didn't even seem that interested. And I was like, okay. And I was like, well, we don't have to do that on Wednesday if you don't want to. And he's like, no, no, I know I need to get it done. And I was like, all right. Okay. You know, because I wasn't going to, like, force him to do it. If he doesn't want to do it, don't do it. Just say no, you know. And I was like, and for me, I was like, I was just offering to help because it's like, I know what a tedious task it is trying to find a new place to live. Right. Um, what so, else? Any other new info? Um, that part where he was just like really unplugged on Saturday, and then there was something else that went with that. Let me just think for a minute. Like, I can't remember all this stuff. Yeah, so you do remember so like, much stuff already. Slowly comes <laughs> to me all the time. Well, some of this stuff is just things that you would never think about. And now that I'm like, hindsight's 2020. There was something else that happened on Saturday that had to do with all of this. Think about it for a minute. I'm going to see if uh, my tech guy has his equipment charged. And we'll get your phone taken care of. Okay. So, again, I'm going to have you sign this uh, voluntary consent. Yep. It's the same thing that you signed in Thornton saying that, you know, I didn't threaten you, intimidate you. You have a right to say no. I want you to read the document again. We're going to take your phone. We're going to use um, uh, a program called Celebrate. They're going to take that information and then. Um, an examiner who is skilled in looking at cell phone data is going to look at it to try to recover the deleted material that we're after. I hope so that they can get The deleted it. material is what I'm after. Obviously. I know it is. I feel so bad that I did that. I was just so... did not want like any presence from him. Right so you're right. okay with us doing everything? Just take everything. the whole phone. Awesome. Just take it. So read that. And make sure you sign it, that you understand that we're going to take all the data. Once I have all that stuff, I'll get your phone back to you. All right, relax for a minute. I'll be back in a sec. Currently transferring to okay. like a lot of them. Uh -huh. I need some of them. Right. 